Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Exchange Server 2019. In the last video, we configured external inbound and outbound email flow in our Exchange organization. In this particular video, I will demonstrate to you how to install SSL certificate on Exchange Server. If your users are using Exchange services internally and you do not want your Exchange services to be published to external network. In that case, you can use a self signed certificate to manage all the tasks internally. But if you decide to publish your exchange services to the Internet so that users can access exchange services like OWA or auto discover from external network. Or if you are planning to deploy exchange hybrid or you are planning to integrate third party services with your on premise exchange server. In that case, you need a certificate that is issued by a third party certification authority. As of now, I do not have a third party SSL certificate installed on this exchange server. So if I try to access my exchange server services or let's say OWA from external network. It will throw an error that the connection is not secure. Though I can access OWA from external network because I have published all the DNS records, but the connection that I'm using is not secure. If I click on certificate area, it says your connection to this site is not secure. Now, if my exchange server will try to communicate with any third party service or server, that particular server will not accept the traffic from my server because the communication channel that I'm using is not secure. So that is the reason you need SSL certificate for your exchange server. You can purchase SSL certificate from any third party certification authority. For example, DigiCert, Commodo, GeoTrust or GoDaddy. But if you are not interested in paying for the certificate, there are some certification authorities from where you can get a free certificate as well. And one of such certificate provider is Let's Encrypt. You can achieve everything using Let's Encrypt SSL certificate. You can publish your exchange services to the Internet. You can secure the communication between the users from the Internet and your exchange server. And even you can deploy exchange hybrid using this certificate as well. The only downside is that this certificate is valid for only 90 days and after every 90 days you will have to renew this certificate. So in this demo, I will show you how to install Let's Encrypt SSL certificate on your exchange server. You can install Let's Encrypt certificate using PowerShell script or using Windows ACME tool as well. You can download that tool from GitHub article I'll share the link with you on the comment section and from here you will download this tool the pluggable let's go to the folder where this file is downloaded right click on this and then click extract all go to c drive and here create one folder let's encrypt so now we will extract all these files in this folder. So that's done. Let me minimize the browser. Close this. Now you will right click on WACS tool and you will run this tool as administrator. OK, so first we will select create certificate option with full options. So we will type M and hit enter. Here we will press two because we will input all the details manually. So press two, hit enter. Now here you need to type your domain name and the subdomain names for which you need to create this certificate. For example, my on premise domain is. Office 365 concepts.com, so I need certificate for this domain. 
I need certificate for mail.office365concepts.com and I need certificate for autodiscover.office365concepts.com. So I need this SSL certificate for my domain and these two subdomains mail dot and autodiscover dot office 365 concepts dot com. Once you have added the domain names and subdomain names, press enter. Here you can type a name for your certificate. For example, I'll go with certificate only and press enter. So here it will ask you how would you prove that you own this domain and these two subdomains. On this option, I'll press six because I'll create DNS records manually so that I can prove the ownership of my domain. So type six and press enter. Next here you will select number two for RSA key, press enter. And here you will store this certificate in Windows certificate store. So press four. Hit enter. And here we will store this to general computer store. Option two. On this option, we will select five for no additional store steps because we have already mentioned Windows certificate store and general computer store. So type five and press enter. Here we will select option one for create or update bindings in IIS. Press enter. We will add this certificate to the default website in IIS. So option one, press enter. On this option, we will select number two and we will run a script. I'll show you that script as well. If you go to the folder where you have extracted all the files, you will see one script folder. All these scripts are available here. So we will run import exchange script. And for that we will use scripts and then name of the script that is import exchange dot ps1 press enter now here you will add certain parameters the parameters are where you want to stamp this certificate the services those you want to assign to this certificate press enter on this particular option select three for no additional installation steps hit enter So these are for terms and conditions. I do not want to open these terms and conditions. Do you agree with the terms? Yes, we do. Enter email for notification about problems and abuse. So here I'll type. The email address of my on premise administrator. Press enter. So now it is checking your domain. And here it is asking you to prove ownership for autodiscover.office365concepts.com domain. Now let's encrypt is giving you these DNS records. You need to publish these DNS records in your global DNS. So the type of the record will be TXT. So let me copy these values. And let's go to. DNS portal. And let's add TXT record. Let's copy the value for this record. Paste it here. Add record. Click save. So this record is created. Let's go back to Exchange Server. And now let's press Enter. So this record is still not published. Let's wait for a few seconds. Let's try again. Okay, so it says validation succeeded. So that means autodiscover.office365concepts.com is a valid subdomain and I have proved ownership. Now it is asking you to delete the record. So if you want, you can delete it now or you can delete it later as well. So let's delete it. Let's go back. Press enter. 
Now it will ask you to prove ownership for mail.office365concepts.com. So again, you will have to add these records. Let's go back. And let's create one more TXT record. Copy the value. Let's go back to Exchange Server and press Enter. Let's wait for a few seconds again. Let's try. OK, so now it says validation succeeded for mail.office365concepts.com. Now again, it will ask you to delete the record from your public DNS. So let's delete it. This one. Let's go back to Exchange Server and press Enter. Now it will ask you to prove ownership for Office365concepts.com domain. Again, you will have to create TXT record and you need to prove your ownership. So let's create one more TXT record. Let's copy the value. Let's go back to Exchange Server and let's wait for a few seconds. OK, so let's press Enter. So now it says Office365concepts.com validation succeeded. So we have successfully proved that we own all these three domains and subdomains. So the process is completed and this tool has generated a certificate for your Exchange Server. Press No here. Now this is adding the certificate to your exchange server. OK, so now we have completed the process and here we will type Q for quit and press enter. That's it. Now let's go to exchange server. And let me refresh. So here we can see the certificate that we just generated. Issuer says let's encrypt. Let's double click on the certificate. Under subject alternative names, we can see the domain and two subdomains. Expiry date is 1st of June 2022. Under services, we can see all these three services are binded already with this particular certificate. Now let's go back to host machine and let me close this and let's try to access OWA again. So now it doesn't give me an error that your connection is not secure. If I click on the certificate area or certificate icon, it says connection is secure. And it says certificate is valid. Now if we go to details of the certificate, this is the same certificate that is issued by Let's Encrypt. You can check valid from today is 3rd of March 2022, valid till 1st of June. Subject of the certificate is office365concepts.com and you can use other properties as well. And these are the subdomains and domain that is covered under this particular certificate. In the next video, we will set up Exchange Online Protection or EOP as a smart host for our on-premise exchange server so that every external inbound and outbound email from our exchange server is routed through EOP. So that is all for now. I will see you all in the next video. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.